My name is Ebenezer Safadu. I'm a business strategy consultant and a data specialist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a special feature today for you on COVID-19. We've all seen how COVID-19 has devastated our world and actually changed a lot in what we do and how we do it. This particular dashboard is to look at how COVID-19 has actually affected countries, continents over the period. This particular dashboard was done with a team at Eureka BI, Eureka Business Intelligence, Eureka Business Intelligence Clarity to Insights. Um, they are the leading business intelligence company in Ghana and Africa. And if you need any decision making that is backed by data, they are the people to go to. Kindly check the website in the link below. So this is the COVID-19 dashboard. And I would like to sound a big um, shout out to Mark Daniel, who actually was the graphic designer for this dashboard. So living through the pandemic and beyond, so we are looking at how COVID-19 has affected uh, various countries over the period. And we are looking at what we can do about it, the future, and what we are expecting. So when you click to go to the main dashboard, you look at the summary, and then you see that 265 million people have been confirmed since the pandemic began. 423,000 new cases on 5th December. So 505 million deaths so far with 808 million active cases and 1.98% rate. 34,732 people have been confirmed in each 1 million. As you can see in the visual map of the world, you can see that Africa has had the least death. This is the death per 1 million people. Um, I think with uh, Southeast Asia and Australia. So when you hover over the countries, you're able to get information on the country, like Canada, the population, the confirmed cases, the numbers, the percentages vaccinated, the deaths per million, and so forth. Um, the color code in the far red is the dangerous ones, followed by yellow, and the blue are the safer areas. So you see Africa being the safest with Australia. So we we'll look at the confirmed cases. So in the confirmed cases, what you can see is that there's been three peaks, which we call the three waves. And there's a fourth wave that we are actually currently beginning. And it will be interesting to know how each country has spread. There's not all countries that have seen this wave. Some have seen only two, depending on the country. Let me look at Argentina. Argentina has had something interesting. The third wave was the highest peak. So depending on the country, you see different um, ways the peak has affected the countries. Let me look at my uh, native country, Ghana. Right. So that's Ghana. And there you have three peaks with marginal increases so that is it about the world but what we are predicting is that we are currently in the fourth wave and revelers especially during this christmas should be careful and governments should take the necessary precaution to avert any disaster in the future on that cases you also see the same trend um, let me go back to confirm and see the countries that have first discovered the omicron variant um, like Belgium. So in Belgium, you see that there's been two peaks, with Omicron being the highest peak so far. Let's look at um, South Africa. Um, so South Africa has seen three peaks and currently is in, on their fourth peak, which is the fourth wave that we are predicting. So that is about the confirmed cases. So when we go to the deaths, I said we are also seeing another fourth wave in the deaths, with Africa being the safest, as we said, 687 per 1 million people dying. And it differs from country. You can see India leading in the deaths per 1 million as at 5th December. So it will be interesting to know what is happening around the world. However, if you look at the daily new deaths, India also tops. But daily new cases is United States that 
actually talk. So currently, it's India that has a lot of people dying each day. Vaccination. The interesting story is that Africa seems to be the least vaccinated uh, continent. However, it seems that most safe continent and we need to look at what may be contributing this and that's the work for the scientists and the immunologists and uh, 22 percent of the world has been vaccinated about 1.6 billion people have been vaccinated we saw peaks of vaccination between june and september we'll see how it fares by the end of the year this is a heat map just to give a fair idea on the confirmed cases so you see africa with the least confirmed cases africa with the least death however when it comes to vaccination africa is the least this is um well, this has to be investigated to see what africa did right especially during these periods and what is making africa so successful in controlling covid and its death as well as also look at how the world would survive the fourth wave thank you my name is Ebenezer Safwad and thank you Eureka Business Intelligence for sponsoring this particular video and research have a nice day subscribe to my youtube channel see you later